Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Bumi Vanilla. Welcome. So today I'm doing something completely different, which is talking about how God has improved my life in a drastic way, in the way that if you told the Bumi four years ago that I would be the person that I am today, I would be like, absolutely not. I'm a city girl and that's it, on period. <laughs> like It's just so amazing how much God can change you within a short period of time because honestly, when you allow God to come into your life and clear out some things that are like obstructing his relationship with you, um, it's just, life is just a lot more better. Like. I just feel so much peaceful I just feel so much lighter that like my soul feels you know at peace and delivered I just wanted to like point out a couple of things that God has changed in my life so I used to be very very into astrology in the sense of I knew my star sign moon sign everything including you know all that tower stuff that I dibbled and dabbled in a little bit and um i even talked about it on my channel because i was like there's a part of me that loves god but then i was struggling with letting go of certain bad habits of mine and so one thing that god corrected this season for me when i drew a lot more closer to him was taking off the desire of astrology and when I tell you that it just made me feel so much lighter and I understand things in a way that you know I never did prior the reason why I went into astrology was because I just I just had this need this insensible need to be in the known of a lot of things because I like structure I like knowing things and I like detail I love a good plan and I love seeing each stages of the plant and when it comes to God is basically working by faith not by sight and a lot of the time you know people go into astrology because it's more ego boosting it's something that is concrete it's, it's something that you can get gaps you know it's something that you just is more logical than it is more um you know walking by faith rather do you know what i'm saying and i like to pride myself in a log as a logical being um but with some sort of like spirituality to me i had a bit that got kicked out of me was astrology and i've been watching a lot of tiktoks about girls that grew up in church like i did that would get dragged to church every single time but then you got to uni or like college in like in america or something or uni in the uk and then you just rebel like you just rebel like you just go a bit crazy a bit bizarre and i felt like that was me as well and so it's so nice to see other girls that went through the same um stages of life like i did without feeling too bad about myself but also understanding that i've come a long way as well and that i'm so thankful that god delivered me from the hands of astrology if that makes sense and now when people are like oh this is your sign i'm like no i'm a child of god <laughs> you know um and slowly God is teaching me how to walk by faith, not by sight. Because me and God go actually go on adventures now. I love going on solo dates by myself. This time around, I just bring God with me, you know, in the sense of I know he's always with me, you know, in the front, it, within me, beside me, behind me. God is always around me. Same with the Holy Spirit and Jesus. And so, yeah, I just go on adventures and God always shows up and shows up for me each and every single time and that is slowly helping me build my faith because I know Jesus said you need faith as tiny as a mustard seed but child when I tell you that mustard seed even though it's, it's quite tiny my faith is you know so it's like kind of like God is slowly teaching me how to have that you know faith rather than trying to be more logical trying to be more concrete with a lot of things in life the next thing i like to talk about is my body is my temple and this can be categorized in so 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 many ways so i'm going to dive into three points of what i mean by god revealing to me that my body is my temple so number one the first thing god bit out of me <laughs> was dressing modestly and i always i love my body like the the body that god gave me i just think is perfection and i enjoy showcasing that because i grew up not having the body that i do now i pray to god to make me beautiful as shallow as it sounds it was something that meant the world to me growing up 
um, my lack of self-esteem due to being put down for my features, my accent got so bad that I prayed to God and he answered my prayers. Like I know in Proverbs 31 30, it warns people about a charm being deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. But I grew up around a society that praises the European beauty standard. In the black community, your womanly figure, being light-skinned, being mixed-race was praised and I was sick and tired of looking in the mirror and hating everything I see. So I prayed, you know? Till now, when people that have low self-esteem tell me about that ply, I simply tell them, ask God to make you beautiful. It's as simple as that and it's so much easier to build relationship with God that way when you give everything you're worried about, your anxiety, your fears, your joy, your laughter to God and you just see him work all things out for you. you mentioned in the Bible, it says, ask and ye shall receive, knock and it shall be opened unto you and seek ye shall find. And it also mentions Esther 2, 7. Esther is described as good-looking with form. Genesis 39, 6. Joseph was described as beautiful in form and looks. Sarah, described, Sarah was described the same way in Genesis 12, 11. Daniel and his friends were described as good-looking with great form in Daniel 1, 4. That said, when God does grant your desires... Don't be like me and go down the route, um, the route of being arrogant, you know. Um, ask God to give you the wisdom to navigate this newfound confidence and attention. Now that I don't use God as a genie and I actually have a personal relationship with God, you know, I've always moved me into my, you know, Esther era, my Sarah era, you know, my Daniel era, uh, my Joseph era of just, you know, just seeking god wholeheartedly and not letting my looks be the main focus of my life but also appreciating the fact that god created me well and beautiful if that makes sense so i always tell people as shallow as anything sounds to you or to this or to society regarding your heart desires god is not going to look down on you with such pity and be like ew get the behind me you know um, God will actually listen to you because it sees your heart, it sees your pain, it sees even the little things that you don't want to talk to him about, talk to him about it and watch him move mountains for you. And if it's in his will for your life, watch him move mountains for you, you know, if that makes sense. And so when I started developing a lot more, I was like, you know, I'm about to go crazy. I'm about to go wild. You know, um, I enjoy like posting like bikinis. I enjoy posting like lingerie, you know, what God gave me. However, one thing that God told me was my body is my temple. Holy Spirit and Jesus resides within you. And, you know, you have a relationship with God. Um, you need to present yourself in a way that is much more elegant. The next thing I like to talk about is abstaining from sex. I've always been in and out of like, you know, um, being celibate because every time I'm single, I've always just gone celibate. Um, but as soon as I get in a relationship or like I'm dating someone, I am sexually active. But this time around, I've actually abstained from sex completely. And that includes masturbation as well. And um, I just kind of felt like, you know, God's temple is so pure. It's like having a clean room and then you're putting dust and so many chaotic things in there. And you're you're making a covenant with someone that doesn't belong to you, someone that is not ordained to you. It's like you're connecting your soul with someone else's soul and you don't know where their soul has been. You don't know what demonic possession is attached to them god revealed all of that to me in the way that makes me understand that yes like you know you wouldn't want to um tidy up a room and then someone comes in or you know you start untidying up your room you, you don't feel peaceful you don't feel restful and i want you know the holy spirit dwelling place to be a peaceful and amazing place for him to stay i mean my room is impeccable a lot of the time so i know how i feel when my room is clean and when my room is tidy and i'm sure it's the same way for the holy spirit it's the same way for god it just glorifies god and it kind of like makes me stand out 
from the rest of you know society in a way because as a christian as god chosen one god wants you to stand out and that's the reason why you know before jesus came to deliver us from sin and everything and integrate everyone in the world israel's israelites um he gave them certain commandments so that it makes them stand apart from the rest of the world that was into idolatry into like chaos violence everything like that you know also talking about body is my temple i've been trying to stop drinking um which is um something that god has been working on me regarding but that has to be my own personal choice because of my personal convictions regarding certain things and the type of person i like to be as a wife as a mom as a person as a human in general i feel like um alcohol drinks are quite poisonous um a lot of people like to class cigarettes as dangerous but alcohol is just as dangerous as cigarettes it's just as dangerous as drugs and then lastly also is listening to circular, circular music which is something that is so so important because what you feed your soul it's what you you follow because sometimes it's all about the subconscious and how you program your mind and your spirit and sometimes if you don't get keep it because i feel like your ears are the gateway to your soul as well as your eyes as well as what you speak if that makes sense because what you listen to and what you you watch is an easy gateway into your subconscious into your mind and then whatever you meditate your mind on consistently is something you start to believe without realizing how your you're programming yourself and so by you know doing all those things you start to profess things that are not of god that doesn't correlate with god's words for your life that doesn't talk about god's promises in your life and so circular music is, so, is something that I'm, I'm i've cut out and one thing i'm struggling with at the minute is afro beats because i i'm a nigerian babe you know i love afro beats however i've just realized that some parts of it is now now turning a bit more like raunchier a bit more demonic and i don't like that side of things so circular music is also cut out for my life i do struggle once in a while but i know god is slowly and but surely correcting those aspects of me that i struggling with letting go of afro beats because i was like to god what am i going to play for my on my wedding day like am i just only going to be listening to worship music and stuff you know because i like i like dancing i love you know mingling i love being in a good mood but a lot of the time secular music is all about programming and my soul my spirit i know that is very 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 um sensitive and so cutting that out would help me you know grow a lot closer and because i've cut out all those things from my life and injecting god's words into my life reading the bible you know listening to simons listening to gospel music i'm slowly reprogramming my mind and my soul and my brain into thinking more positively into aligning myself with god's words and that is propelling me into my purpose in, in life and also like understanding and developing that relationship even further because the more time you spend with god the more time you're you've deepened that relationship you're deepening that relationship with god and i like being friends with god is such a gorgeous thing to experience it's such a beautiful thing to experience and it's something that i would always advise people to have honestly like my relationship with god i just pray continues to grow a lot more deeper a lot more stronger and you know god continues to watch over me and continues to draw closer to me because when i was in the world i thought i was having fun i thought i was living my best life i wasn't so that is that and then the next thing i would like to talk about is god delivering me from my enemies and when i mean my enemies i mean my village people if you don't know what i'm talking about as africans most africans know what i'm talking about um <laughs> i'm sure enemy and like asians know what i'm talking about you have village people okay those village people that are like witches and wizard and then you have like you know in the bible in daniel it says the prince of persia was holding down angel gabriel gabriel from sending the message that god sent to daniel when he was fasting and praying for those 21 days period and when i tell you i had like god delivered me from all of them like i've seen visions i've had dreams i've you know i've i've heard god's words confirmation from people as well and it's just such a nice thing because it's like you don't understand how much of the world when you're so into it into it so many things so many spirits that are not of god are getting attached to you so basically god has defeated all my enemies and i'm super super excited about that because for a really really long time um i've 
being aware of you know the wizard and witches that you know attached when it comes to my family bloodline and stuff like that and um when it comes to you know other things that i don't want to reveal because some people might get hurt by it so um yeah um god has delivered me from all my enemies including my village people and also the need for having children has been something that i slowly developed because ever since i was like a teenager i've always said mm, maybe having kids is not for me i've never felt broody i've never looked at a baby and been cute um i've just always just thought they were just annoying little creatures <laughs> And I just always thought that, you know what, you're like, at the end of the day, I'm probably going to be like a dog mom or like, you know, maybe, just maybe, just have one. But now, having a relationship with God and being delivered from so many things and God like, you know, showing me things about my life and my purpose has kick-started me wanting a baby and wanting like a family structure and talking about family structure um is also like god has also worked on me regarding the sort of qualities i need and i want in a partner which is a godly man qualities rather than always just chasing the money i went on a couple of dates and yeah when i tell you i was just kind of like yeah my my old type whether it be like financially, whether it be like height requirements has completely changed. Well, maybe not on the height, height requirements. I still want them to be super tall, taller than me. At least switching six foot because that's what I like. But whatever God has in store for me is what I want because I always want God's best and God knows best. And um, the next thing I like to mention is letting God lead me in my life. Um, I'm still fearful when it comes to having faith in the sense of I know God is amazing. I know God loves me. I know all this good stuff. But as far as like, like I said, again, I'm more on the logical side and more on the like, I want, I will see it when I believe it. Almost like doubting Thomas almost kind of like peter you know after jesus died they went back to fishing that's why i've seen all the amazing things jesus did and everything like that and i can see myself in a lot of the disciples in a lot of you know and people in the bible such as like abraham and sarah and the way like they would go ahead of god's plan without consoling him without trusting in him it's little things like that so slowly but surely as i'm going on adventures with god um is revealing to me that I, sh I don't have to worry about a lot of things all i just have to do is literally say my request to him obviously like and just let him take control and not worry too much about things so um that's another thing god has been you know working on me with when it comes to my life is like letting god lead me in my life and it's been it's been wonderful so far a bit shaky and that's because i'm human i'm extremely flawed i'm not saying that i'm completely like sorted out by god but god has been removing a lot of things that i thought it would never i would never be able to like get over you know in that way and every day as i'm walking with god i pray that i get stronger i pray that your walk with god also gets stronger and we all get to see god's goodness and greatness in our lives and we all get to like love god and see god for his heart the way god thinks of us because god says i know the thoughts i have of you to prosper you and not to harm you i hope i'm not paraphrasing that um <laughs> that scripture that verse to talk about so basically those are the changes god i've been making in my life so far and i feel like it's only just going to get better for me like i'm only going to be like a better version of myself um a good version of myself a godly version of my of myself and honestly i'm loving my walk with god um because prior to all of this i've always just had a rocky relationship with god and jesus and the holy spirit because you know like the um proverb that jesus was telling his disciples regarding you know the farmers and the planting of seeds some falls in the wayside um some doesn't have deep roots you know all that good stuff i feel like 
I was those people that, you know, was getting the word of God but was not deeply rooted in it. And I pray that con right now God continues to root me into his words, program my mind into thinking of his ways because my I am because I am a vessel of God, my body is his vessel. I don't own me, God owns me, God made me, God breathed life into me, God knew me before I was formed. So everything about me is not mine but God. But um and Everything I do, I pray that it continues to glorify and exalt God's name. And I pray that it continues to propel his um, kingdom as well as, you know, propel me into my purpose in general type of thing. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Love you loads. Take care. Is this how you do the art shaped Gen Z way? Is this how they do it? I think this is how they do it. Love shit, guys. Bye. Ciao, Bellas. Um, au revoir.